it's Amasha from Reviews. Today I'm going to walk you through an exciting update coming to Reviews. When you log into the Podium web app, your landing page is the inbox. And as a result, 96% of interactions happen in the inbox. So we wanted to bring Reviews closer to the inbox. So in this new experience, you will see Reviews right here under the Activity section. And the old page under the Marketing dropdown is no longer there. So let's take a look at this new experience. If you haven't activated reviews, you'll see this onboarding experience where you're asked to connect your Google business profile. This is intentional because you'll get more value out of Podium if you connect your Google business profile. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if for some reason you don't have login information here, when you exit out of here, you'll see options to connect uh, a different site or even connect your Google business profile manually. But we want to connect our Google business profile. So let's go ahead and do that. There are no changes to this connection flow. You'll be asked to sign in and confirm the location. Just like that. And look at that. Once you are connected, we'll start pulling in your Google reviews. This still looks pretty similar to the old experience. So let's walk through some of these changes. All the filters are located at the top of the page as opposed to the right side. The types of filters remain the same. Um, we no longer have separate pages for all reviews and need responses, but those views are accessible from this first filter here. There is a blue dot uh, here to indicate that there are reviews that need responses to. And if you have access to review response suggestions, you'll also see quick responses to help you respond to your reviews faster. Now, if you take a look at the inbox, attributed reviews will continue to come in to the inbox within these conversations. What that means is if you sent a review invite and your customer responded to that invite, you will see that review appearing within that conversation, but we won't be creating separate conversations for Google and Facebook reviews like we used to. All other review functionalities remain the same, such as sending review invites, emailing uh, reports, and responding to reviews. And that is the new reviews experience. I hope this walkthrough was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this new experience. Thank you.